We got big news here with Nathan Eovaldi set to return for the Rangers. That's big news. They need Eovaldi here. Uh, was going to be Dunning, but Eovaldi's ready. Astros dollar fifteen total nine. Let me see. It's nine under fifteen. So a little bit of a move here. It is reported steam. It's not a huge move, but uh, the screen did light up on the under here with the Astros and the Rangers. I mean, Eovaldi was, you know, 19 starts, a 2.69 ERA, but he wasn't looking good before he hit the shelf. And so maybe he just what he needed was some rest, some uh, Rehab, hopefully that's the case because the Rangers right now need to stop what's going on and they need a guy like Nathan Eovaldi to be ready for the postseason and be in that form. The Rangers have lost 13 of their last 17 games. The Astros have lost three of four, but we saw what happened, like I said yesterday. Haney uh, got out there. Uh, you know, it was back and forth. All I, Every time you looked up, it was a home run. Uh, Astros were hitting homers, Rangers were hitting homers, then it was the Astros. And then it was more Astros and more Astros, 13 to 6. Astros get the win. So, uh, handicappers yesterday uh, were pretty strong across the industry. I had an informal survey looking at the service play forums yesterday, and I uh, show that they were uh, heavy. It was uh, probably a seven out of every 10 handicappers were on Houston yesterday. So uh, that's the way they were looking when, you know, that's what came through. So let's see what you guys have in this one. You got Val, uh, Framber Valdez, a five ERA over his last three starts. He, but uh, on the road with Valdez, just two and five. Here is Houston for Lord Cinna figure it out. Goes with the Astros. Thomas on the Astros. Uh, Bill says the team total has been pretty good. I know he means the over. Jamal says Astros money line. Brent Cook, Astros and over. It's all Astros for you guys. Hmm. USA wrap up, wraps up their victory. Houston money line for Michael. Even I might be on this uh, side. Here's a butterscotch going over. I, I want to think that Eovaldi, if he's going to be ready to pitch, um, I don't. I think we could see some good pitching here in this one. I it certainly is intimidating to look to see what happened yesterday with all those runs, but. Uh, my gut feel is a is a pretty strong. Uh, could I do it here and give it out on the show? I don't know if I want to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna take Houston here on the road. Uh, might have to save that one. I'm worried now that Scotch is going over because <laughs> uh, you know I might be going premium. USA advances. I'll take on the winner of Germany and Latvia. All right. Oh well. I had a loss in the Discord on the over. We haven't had too many, though, so, Bill, join us in that Discord. Uh, no one stood up for me in the chat. No, I guess no one's been following those FIBA picks. No wonder they, they won't let me make FIBA picks. They're probably not that popular, so they don't want me running up a, a huge record on these guys I'm smashing this FIBA like I have been, but a loss here today. All right, and uh, Londo says go over. All right, I'll take the hey, I'll take the uh, Astros here on the road after yesterday. Uh, look, Burley's on the over today, so I, I would say these teams trend over for sure. You know, Houston's gone over in eighteen of their last twenty-seven. Texas has gone over in nine of their last twelve. So Valdez has gone over in six of his last nine. I think this is going to be. Uh, I think the I think the pitching will calm down today. I think they'll be able to reel it in. So looks like I'm against you guys. So I better give up the Astros here in this one, and uh, let you guys handle the total here. <laughs> 